reason. We did not exploit those miracles to make ourselves known. Apostle Dr. Joe Kao was born in 1937 on May 5th to peasant parents in Nyamara district in rural Kenya. He lost his mother at the age of 12 years. He dropped out of school at primary six, enduring tough challenges and having no hope for the future. He attempted to take his own life three times but failed. He sunk into serious crime. In February 1957, Joe Keo got sick and was hospitalized in Mombasa, the doctors had no hope of saving him. Some nurses took him to AT.L Osborne Crusade and left him there for dead. He heard about Jesus, accepted salvation, and was healed. Two weeks later, while alone he was baptized with the Holy Spirit and heard God's voice to go and tell the world. August of 1957, Joe Keo Ministries began in the coast region. By 1960, two congregations had been established in Mombasa and Kilifi. He moved to Nyanza where he stayed with Derek Prince and later moved to Kampala, Uganda, where with others he pioneered the Pentecostal faith and stayed there for nine years. It's the life of God. It's the way of God. It's the Jesus life. It's ordinary. He met and married his wife Rose on June 3, 1961 and has raised three sons who live in the USA. Education background. Dr. Kao is self-educated, while he lived in and operated from Seattle City, USA, he studied with University of Biblical Studies, Oklahoma City. With the help of Faith Bible College slash Seminary, Lagos, he got his Th.D. and Ph.D. European Bible Seminary, based in Ireland, accorded him D.Lit in recognition of his writing and teaching. Esther Mallet International Christian University of California, USA honored Dr. Kao with D.D degree. Church Ministry Dr. Kao founded Deliverance Church Kenya and Uganda, Juba Pentecostal Church and helped found Family of God Churches of Zimbabwe. Having lived in the USA for almost four years where Joe Kao Ministries International was registered, he returned to Kenya with his wife and re-established Church of the Spirit and Truth, under which many congregations operate. He has authored great books, among them, The Marvel of God's Grace, The Lion Has Prevailed, The Eagle Saint, Knowing the Name of the Lord, God's Pattern for Daily Living, The Power of the Blood of Christ. His periodical Revival Digest magazine is widely circulated and is a favorite of many. Mentorship. Throughout Eastern, Southern and Western Africa, Pentecostal ministers who have affected lives have passed through Joe Keo's ministry. It is said that there is no town in this region where you will fail to meet preachers who were born again in Dr. Joe Keo's crusades, directly, or were helped by the man of God personally. They vary in capacity, while many are in full-time ministry and do lead large denominations, majority is of the laypersons, who are found in different fields of trade and professions, yet they do minister God's word effectively. Many are in radio and t.v ministries. This is the area that Dr. Joe Kao cherishes most, he calls it apostolic continuity. Turning Point on September 25, 2006, Joe Kao was led to read Psalm 102 verse 13, just before going to theater for an urgent surgery. Three and a half hours later, while on the recovery bed, the doctor told him, Dr. Kao, whenever you pray, please speak to God about these names. He had a list of two doctors and seven nurses, because in theater it was not medical science that worked, it was purely divine intervention. Then the Lord told him, I brought you back to declare the Lord's favor to my church. Since October of 2006, Dr. Kao has obeyed and acted accordingly, lives have been rescued, bodies healed, restoration witnessed, miracle that defy logic do take place, all while he speaks the prophetic declaration of the Lord's favor upon the audiences.